Okay, at this point the uh, aft end of the mold is completely infused and we're all the way up to within about uh, two to three inches of the very beginning of the mold, the opening where our vacuum is. And we have started to get a small amount of resin into the resin trap. So resin is flowing through the spiral wrap and we have maybe a um, tablespoon of resin in the bottom of the trap. And the uh, mixed resin, we're down to less than a third of the resin remaining, so I think we hit the resin mark pretty well. Uh, it's not unusual to have a little bit of resin come into the trap. It's almost impossible not to do that. So we're going to allow this to suck up the rest of the resin. We've got a big enough trap to contain it. And uh, then we'll clamp everything off and pull our vacuum back down. It's actually interesting. The, um, the bag where the resin is introduced will kind of come loose a little bit because you've got pulled resin there. But once you clamp it off, uh, that resin will continue to flow and it'll um, pull the vacuum back down the bag tight and there won't be any excess resin in the part. Back in a minute.